development of autonomous cars is strongly linked to the need and the drive to enhance safety in vehicles. It turns out that people are pretty bad drivers. In 2013, over 1 million deaths occurred on the road worldwide. This is the eighth leading cause of death globally and the number one cause of young people. Global losses due to road traffic injuries are estimated at over half a trillion dollars. Human error accounts for around 90% of all vehicle crashes. The reasons? Poor lookout, excessive speed, inattention, wrong evasive action, internal distraction. In 2012, British people spent almost 300 hours rotating steering wheels. They only worked around 1,600 hours, so it's a big part of their time. London is the second most congested city in Europe. Its citizens waste 81 hours a year in traffic. It's been estimated that up to 15 times more people could fit on today's roads. Autonomous vehicles will therefore help decongest today's cities and also save people's time, as autonomous cars are able to safely drive much closer to each other. So, what are autonomous cars? The US Department of Transport allows for five different levels of autonomy. No autonomy. The car is assisting the driver by using safety systems such as ESP and ABS. Two or more safety systems working together such as adaptive cruise control combined with lane centering. The vehicle fully controls itself, only needing occasional input from the driver. Complete and full autonomy. The vehicle can drive itself under all circumstances and in all weather conditions. It only needs to know the destination. Example, latest version of the Google car which has no steering wheel. Let's go to the beginning though. People have dreamed of cars driving themselves for a long time. In 1939, Norman Bell produced To New Horizons, a video and book for GM which dedicates a whole chapter to eliminating the human factor in driving. During the following decades, the Japanese developed rear-end collision avoidance systems using cameras to detect obstacles. The Germans also pushed for automation, resulting in safety systems such as ABS and ESP. In 2009, Google started to develop Chauffeur, and by now it has driven over 700,000 miles wholly autonomously. It can detect hundreds of types of objects simultaneously, and it has not caused any accidents yet. Google is currently researching city driving, having already built a Level 4 capable prototype, and plans to have 100 built soon. They plan to license their system for the roads by 2018. Today, car manufacturers are flocking to announce their progress in self-driving cars and predict the sale of vehicles capable of Level 3 autonomy by 2020. As the most important aspect about an autonomous vehicle will be its computer system, if connected to the internet, it could be vulnerable to attacks. Privacy and freedom of movement could also be under threat if governments, police or terrorists gain access not only to the last journey but can predict future journeys. Bugs in the software could lead to accidents. Collision avoidance systems could be abused by human-driven vehicles and pedestrians discouraged to pay attention to the road. On the other side, autonomous cars will provide personal transportation for millions of disabled or elderly people. Connected vehicles means police could stop them remotely if a criminal is inside. Before autonomous cars become available though, a few barriers remain. Highly detailed roadmaps are required. The public needs to accept the concept and a number of laws need to change.